Yo, yo, you already know who it is. You already know what it do, what it do. Anyways, it's your boy, obviously me, hello. Yo, obviously like and subscribe and stuff like that. Because I need them subscribers. Subscribers. Yeah, I need some more subscribers. But anyways. Man, I was like looking up the comments. You know. I was like commenting on other reviewers. trying, You know, trying to get my name out there. A little unsavory. Trying, you know. I don't know. I don't have the money to put like 20k in marketing to get my... Like, YouTube channel and Instagram up so I can get my YouTube up. But, I was like, yeah, it should. It won't hurt. But I was, like, reading the comments of people, which normally is just me. I don't really, like, read the comments of people because this is just kind of, like, a closed-ended just thought, you know? And, and I like that. I don't like the thing. That, even my Instagram. You can't comment. Like, even though, like, YouTube is fine because it's, like, movie people and you know, I do want to have a conversation. I want to know what people are thinking. But also, like... I don't know, just, I've talked to so many, like, as being a life coach, you think, you just take a, a, a different, like, outlook at life a lot, and just me personally, I'm just, I'm just tired of people, you know, and I just want to express my opinion to the world and be done with it, but when it comes to movies, I want to hear people's opinions, you know, but also just on, like, a regular standpoint, if I'm, like, making a post, I don't want to hear your comment or, like, your perspective or point of view, because I re like, I don't know, if it's like a social media post, I'm literally doing just because of marketing or I'm expressing something. I don't need your opinion, nor do I want it. Versus this, where I'm taking the effort to think about, like, a movie I enjoyed and then I do want your opinion because it was, it's constructive, I know, say. But it's not just constructive, it's a different idea which will add, like, light to what I'm saying for my movie reviews. But anyways... Yeah, I just, like, first of all, let me not step on the scrunchy stuff, but The Marvels is a great movie. I think it's fantastic. I would say it's top six movie, Marvel movies of all time. And to be honest with you, I think it's top four for me because I just think if, like, want, like, again, like, there's so many aspects and things I want to say because normally I don't read the comments. That's why I read the comments. And I spent, like, basically the whole day in a basement in the dark just watching movies, you know? So I'm juiced up to talk, you know? And, like, that's why I also like this, like, YouTube channel. It's like, I can actually, people will respond to me and express their opinions. I can, like, so it is a conversation, you know? And I like that aspect of it. Um, but, and I like expressing my ideas, you know? Like, I feel like movies are great but the but movies are art and the best thing about art is you get to hear other pe people's opinions and things like that so i'm really excited about that to hear like hear other people's opinions about what i say but just about it, the movie in general um and like i heard a lot of reviews on the movie itself or i just i was looking at the comment of other like top review people who review movies so it was just a lot of negativity and not a lot of people said it was good. And I just feel like they, like, you know, I have my take on it, but I'm also, I'm pretty sure I'm right. You know, so I'm also saying it with some, like, pride in me. Which I could be wrong, you know, but I'm right, so I don't really care. <laughs> this is my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm not completely right, but I know I'm right on the, 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 some of the things I'm saying because I know it's a larger issue than just, Oh, this movie was good, or this movie was not good. You know, and it, it, it's like it's also it's like someone could say that the Marvels or any movie is a hundred, and they're right. You know, and they could say any movie is negative one, and they're right. You know, it's like it's all a lot of a lot of it is perspective and where you're coming from to say this movie is like this. And I don't like to do because I, I did critics on one of my other um, uh, pages, and now it's always rate, ratings, and I don't like ratings because I feel like it's kind of stupid you don't rate the mona lisa as a, a on a scale you know you just enjoy it and appreciate it you know some people like it some people don't so that's why that's the way i carry my youtube channel um this page and that's what makes sense to me and also i think it just it makes sense um and i think it's fair you know um and yeah i just it's so there's a little more philosophy in it but also the philosophy is sound philosophy said by me and I just, a lot of, like, what people say, 
or like their criteria of movies is just stupid. Like uh, Jeremy Johns is a popular one, but he's more like, you know, he's more of a celebrity movie reviewer, you know? Um, and I don't really like, I don't watch, I used to watch Jeremy Johns a lot, but I don't watch him anymore. Um, cause I have my own channel and I don't really need to watch it. But if I had like a friend who also did movie reviews, I would watch the movie reviews for sure. Um, and there's a couple ones I would see every now and then, but like it's most, most often than not, I can tell a lot from, you can tell a lot from the trailer, um, whether the movie is good or not. And most people can tell that. I feel like, um, our example is a uh, blue beetle, um, uh, not blue beetle. What is it? Singing the Flash. The Flash is terrible, and I feel like it was more than just... I'm going to talk about it later, but, like, The Flash was more than just Ezra Miller. You could just tell the movie was going to be garbage in the trailer, and then you watch the movie, and it was garbage, and no one went to go see it, you know? So, anyways. Um, and the Marvels. I feel like the Marvels had a really, really good, like, strong trailer that demonstrated a lot of what the movie was going to be. And the movie was how, what you thought it was going to be. I don't know why people were, like... So frustrating. The movie was... People thought the movie... Like, I don't know. I just, just reading the comments, I'm very frustrating. Because I feel like people assumed the movie was going to be, like, The Winter Soldier or, or, or Iron Man 1 or stinking, um... What's the movie? Avengers 1, which is not true. I think that's stupid. I think you have to give Brie Lawson a chance. You have to give all the new actors a chance. And you have to give the new director a chance. I think that's just, like, silly... If you think you could be like, oh, yo, I'm just going to flex. And then this movie is going to somehow just work out, you know, wonderful. Which is, which again, it, again, like I said, it's just silly. Like, you have three new actors. Or, like, you have Brie Lawson, who's, like, flagship. And then you have stinking, um, the other two actors. I'll look up their name in a second here. And they're, they were spectacular. I think they were great. The whole movie was great. I'm not even going to... There's an argument on the movie. And sure, there was plot holes, but there's plot holes in every movie. And people were like, oh, this character was weak, this character was strong. It's a movie. Like, I feel like a lot of problem is, especially when people are approaching a movie, they're looking at two as it... Th this is an addition to something. Where even comic book fans who, like, are diehard fans, they don't look at it that way either. You know, they appreciate the pieces of the of the work you know and it's cool it's it's a bonus that it's that it's connected to a franchise but that's not everything you can't just take everything like you have to look at every new movie like it's a new movie if it's an mcu if it's dc any franchise you can't just be like oh like you can do that and you should do it it's a fan and that's it's, it's a like i'm saying it's a bonus cool thing but it doesn't matter at the end of the day every movie is individually created every movie you know takes hundreds to thousands of of workers of hands and like hundreds of like thousands of thousands of tens of thousands of hours you know just to create and i feel like you should appreciate every single piece for what it is. Like, you could say, oh, this franchise is this franchise is God. You know, it's like, I f that, that's a big thing. But anyways, the Marvels was a great movie. Everything was great about it. The directing was good. Um, it was a young director, and you could see flaws in that. And you could see flaws in the um, the character, the strength of the character. But Marvel characters are not good, and they're never going to be good. Because the superheroes aren't that OP. Like, DC is all, has great villains because DC superheroes are all-time bad apple butt kickers, you know? That's what you should expect, and that's what they are. So, expecting DC to have these good villains when their characters are weak as duff? No, bro, that's stupid. That's silly, and that's foolish. But anyways, it's good as expected. It slaps. I started writing notes. Um, it was very, very, very super fun, and I enjoyed it. Um, the trailer till a lot. Marvel is dominating. DC is being wickedy whack. Um, yeah, this is a great movie in down. Probably my top four. One of my favorite uh, Marvel movies because I just feel like you just you don't get that. You know, first of all, you don't get like all females, um, females writing the script. You don't get females directing this. You don't get a black female um, directing a movie ever. That doesn't happen. And the movie for it, the movie to be a multi-million dollar movie to me this good you get brie lawson you know um miss marvel is a is a really good tv show uh on disney plus um i don't maybe see it 
and people are just pooping on it, you know. And I feel like that's all I also think too. All these couch potatoes are just like pooping on it when they don't like, you know. And a lot of it, there are a lot of like male fans that are just sexist and they don't know that they're sexist and they don't know how things actually work. But anyway, let me continue. Um, you got Brie Lawson, you got Iman, M Iman, E Anna, M Anna, Imana Velani, Imana Velani. Um, Zway Ashton was, she was good. Latasha Lynch was from, um, um, James Bond. She was good. Samuel L. Jackson, always great. And then you had, uh, where's the actor lady? Tanya Paris. She was good. Anyways, so, yeah, I feel like they all did a really good job. I was very happy with it. Um... Let me sit down here on the spot. But yeah, like they did a great job. The movie was good. Let me see a look at the director and the writer. Because I'm just going to give them credit. But like this movie was good. Ow. The screenwriter was... The screenwriter was uh, the director, and who was Nina Costa was the director, Nina Da Costa, and then Megan Donald, and this is Alyssa Karski, and the director was Nina Da Costa. This movie was slaps, um, and I guarantee a lot of the chat. I guarantee you was a lot of like couch potato men just you yeah, pooping on it bro like that's just off the fact i gear i'll put money down if it if if there were if all the characters in the movie if miss mar if, if brie lost in um let's let's talk let, um if all the characters miss marvel captain marvel all, all of them um were 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 males this this movie would not be like pooped on as much as it is. With exactly everything, it wouldn't have been pooped on because it would have been the same scale as like a Thor or something like that. So I'm I'm just saying like like there's a whole lot of sexism going on. That's what I'm trying to say. This movie was good. Um, appreciate uh, just you know the effort and quality of people put in and try and understand a little bit of context that you got young directors. Um, like, I don't even, I'm not even gonna look it up. No, there's no way, um, the Costa is out here. Fr she's a black woman in 2023 directing a multi billion dollar Marvel movie. You know what I'm saying? You have to give, you can't just, you can't just be like, oh yeah, this movie's garbage, you know, without understanding the context. I, that's silly to me. I feel like there's so much work that goes into it. You, like, and you think it's like, I don't know, just like, I don't know, just like a whim or just, I don't know. Excuse me. It's like people just don't understand how the world works, how how this thing goes round, and you just I don't know. Take time to educate yourself and just appreciate the scope of things. But but just for every movie, for every product, you know, appreciate it and have fun, you know. And sometimes and every movie can't be good. Every movie is not going to be good. Just enjoy it, you know. But I enjoyed it. I thought this movie was great. Um. And I would just, you know, like, it's my top four. I just, I, I was really cool just seeing all these different characters. The end credit scenes were probably one of the best end credit scenes you've ever seen in a movie. Um, finally seeing women on screen actually be superpowers um, and, like, a flagship movie when it's, like, not bad. I think they made a bunch of action, like, I forget what action movie. It was, like, 54 or 52 or something. I forgot what it was called, but it was terrible. Um... Three female superheroes in, like, and one, like, like actual, like, you know, and just, just a culture. You got African-American, you got a white lady, and you got a, um, what descent is the, the girl, Miss, uh, Miss Marvel? You know, and, like, see some Middle Eastern, but I want to look it up. You know, like, you don't get that, and people don't, like... It's the same thing people like Spider-Man because he's white and people like, or no, not uh, Miles Morales is very popular right now 
because he's he's a black Spider Man. He's you know it's just you don't like you like there's this time when this was when this girl. Um, I was at working at this uh, store. She was like looking at toys and things like that, and then she like grabbed a toy. Uh, she grabbed a doll, and then she grabbed a different doll, and she said, "Look, I want this one." It it was first. It, she there was like a doll that was multi, like a different skin color than her, and she was white. She was like a white little girl, and then and, and she grabbed the white one. She she dropped the the the, the one that was um like um it was like brown or whatever it was, you know. And like and she 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 picked up the white doll because it looked like her, you know. It, it's not like and I, that's not a race thing. It's just a. It's just, hey, that looks like me. That, you know, I have, I have resemblance to it. I have stake in the game. I have, you know, and, you know, and she's a little girl, of course. Why would she not pick the, the, you know, I feel like, you know, and it's the parents' job to, to culture the kids and show the kids the world. And it's our job as adults to educate ourselves and to learn and to, to be more, you know, discovery. Um, and just, I don't know, just, we have to culture ourselves. And learn things, you know, and be out of our comfort zone. But anyways, so I'm just saying. So just, and like, just reading all the comments, man. No, I normally don't read comments, and I don't really care to do play fan service or anything like that. But I just had to call it out because like this movie was a good movie, and I'm like, what are people saying? This movie was bad. Like, there's a lot. Iron Man like three was mid, and people didn't poop on that. People were like, oh, Iron Man. Like, I think Robert Downey Jr. is goady. Like, I, he's easily goady. But I'm just saying, I didn't, like, there, people weren't, like, pooping on him like they were pooping on this movie now. And it's like, oh, something, it's something, like, uh, uh, like, the women do come out and you just want to poop on it right away. It's like, t- and, like, you could expect this. It's the same thing, like, in pro wrestling with the females. Like, I, uh, you expect it. You don't even need a blink. The women have to be perfect for them to get, like, um, a little bit of credit. It's like, uh, something they say in the NBA finals. Um, you have to win by 16 to win by one, you know? <laughs> Cause it's entertainment. They want it to be close and they want it to be entertaining. But it's just, it's so, I'm gonna call it like it is. It's bullshit, man. I don't even curse like that. But it's total BS. I want none of it. This movie, The Marvels, was good. All the actors was great. Um, the Costa did a great job. Um, and definitely go watch it. I'm gonna watch it multiple times. I thought it was very fun. One of the far most, far, funniest Marvel movies for me. Um, and I, I had a good time. So, anyways, I'm gonna give respect to it. Um, anyways, yo.